Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller with PA Creative. We've been doing a lot of tutorials on the header menu and things like that, and we've done one on making that header transparent. And so today we want to show you how to make a fixed header, and we're going to show you how you can do that. So you want it just on, maybe you want it on mobile. You want the header to be fixed on mobile or on desktop or both or one or the other. I'm going to show you how to do that, and this goes along with a couple of the other tutorials that we've been doing. Um, the one on the transparent header and also one on, on changing the color from transparent to something else when you're scrolling, things like that. We've been doing kind of a lot in this, this series here. So be sure to check out those other ones, but let's get started on this one. So in this tutorial, we're going to be showing you pretty simply how to make a fixed header in the Divi Theme Builder. So I'm in here, I'm under Divi, under Theme Builder, and I have a new Theme Builder template right here. And I've assigned this template to a specific page, and that's the header page. And you can see um, that's the one I have up here in the other tab. So I want this template to apply to that. So I've created this custom header there. So let's go in here. And what we're going to do, well, I'll show you the other, I'll show you the, the header right now. Right now it's, um, you know, just scrolling up with our pages, which, you know, that's fine. But if we wanted this to be fixed up here, uh, we have to change the setting. So what I mean by that is when we start scrolling down here, this header will actually stay at the top of our screen no matter what. So let's go in here to the theme builder and in the section so right now we have a section and then we have a menu module set up here okay so that's all it is and we have a black background set for the section and um, all we really need to do is go over here to the advanced tab in this section and scroll down here to where it says position open that toggle up and under this position here where let's put fixed okay so we're setting that to fixed and this little guy right here can actually be <laughs> moved around. Um, we could fix it at the bottom, at the center, um, but of course we want it at the top. But that, just so you know, that is an option there. Um, so we have it on fixed. Let's save this. All right, so let's go check that out. And uh, let's see what happens when we start scrolling here. Okay, so there, there it is. It stays fixed at the top of the page. So you can, you know, you can scroll anywhere you want and that's going to stay fixed. Now this is on desktop, of course, but you could actually do this on mobile or you could do it on one or the other. What I mean is you could do it all on all devices or just one or the other. So let's go back into the theme builder once. Let's take a look at something. So, you know, with a lot of the responsive styles in Divi here, uh, we can do a lot of cool stuff. So let's, let's go to position and you'll notice that new position option here has a responsive option. All right. So um, let's change to phone. Okay. And let's see. Well, it's hard to see in here, but let's say, um, let's say we did not, we want it relative when we're on phone. Okay. So when we go to phone, we don't want it to stay fixed. All right, let's save that and go take a look because previously it would it would be so let's in fact let's show you um show you the uh, the way we had it before it would be fixed you see that um and of course there's a little issue because of the unlogged in menu bar but you'll see how see how the menu would be fixed on mobile now let's let's refresh because i've just turned it off on mobile basically okay so there we go now it's off and it scrolls along with the page so again you can do you can do this with um tablet phone or desktop at this point and i don't know i i don't know if i like it on mobile or not um let me know what you guys think i think in some ways it's nice you might want to have it smaller you could even you know go in here and adjust some of the padding um, for when it's on mobile but i don't know i'm not sure if I like it or not, I like the idea of keeping your mobile screen, you know, as um, as clean and, and simplified as possible because you're dealing with smaller screen, of course. Um, but, you know, keeping it fixed, it depends. If I had this logo a little smaller, I think I'm I'm in favor of it. So, you know, 
keep it on fixed there. And let's say you want it fixed on mobile, but you don't on desktop. You could change that to relative and maybe you want it um, absolute on tablet or something like that. So, you know, feel free to play around with that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're looking for um, tutorials on um, the header where it's transparent over top of here, and when you start scrolling like this, it would be transparent at first and start to scroll. That's the next one. So keep an eye out for that one. I'm really excited for that video. That'll be out um, whenever you're watching this. If you're watching it, when it launches, it'll be out in two days. But um, other than that, it's just the next video in line. Go check that one out. Um, we had some jQuery to change it from having it over here transparent to having it change when you scroll. So that's exciting. Go check that one out. Okay, so that's how you make your header menu fixed on desktop, tablet, or mobile. If you found that helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. This is the kind of thing we've been putting out. We're going to continue to be releasing tutorials. We have, at any given time, we have around 30 drafts, and then we, you know, keep making more. And it, it really doesn't ever go down. So be sure to subscribe, and be sure to follow our blog and check out some of the stuff we offer. We have a lot of tips and tricks over there on the blog. All right, well, we'll see you guys in the next video.